Yo guys, real quick before the video starts, if you aren't subscribed yet, make sure you click that subscribe button and that bell button so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. We're so close to a million subs, so if you aren't subscribed yet, make sure you go ahead and do that. And uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I don't think I could go on anymore. Just go on without me. Tell my mom I love her. We're just in Matil's backyard. Stop exaggerating. In my defense, it's really hot out here. Not really, but okay. So can you explain to me why we're out here again? Well, my Matil has a nopal in the backyard and I needed one. A cactus? We walked this far in the heat for a cactus? First of all, it's not even that hot. And secondly, nopal is one of the most delicious things ever. This plant? with spines on it that's found in the desert. You're going to eat it? Yes, Chris, I am. Wait, why does your Tio have a cactus in his backyard anyway? It's not the most aesthetically pleasing plant. Chris, eating nopales or prickly pear cactus is super common in Mexican culture. So for a lot of Mexicans, we usually have a nopal sitting in the backyard. And the nopal is even on the Mexican flag. It has a Mexican golden eagle on top of a nopal as it devours a rattlesnake. So the nopal is pretty important to Mexican culture, huh? Yup. So do you just eat it raw? I mean, you clean it up first, but yeah, you can eat it raw. Actually, let me show you how they're prepared. Follow me. He really made me come out here for no reason. Okay, Chris, as you know, nopales are covered in spines. So before you can eat them, you have to pelar those nopales, which means peel them. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Um, no, it's not at all. It's actually really, really boring and tedious. But since this is a three minute YouTube skit, I have a peeled one right here. Do you eat it by itself? You could, but it's typically mixed with other foods like egg, meat, or even other vegetables to create an ensalada de nopales. Mmm, this is good. Yeah, it is pretty good. Were you hungry or something? Maybe. All right then. Anyway, nopales are also commonly grilled and eaten with other dishes as well. And there's even a fruit that comes from the nopal called tuna or prickly pear. Ooh, I love tuna, especially with a bucket of mayonnaise. No, I'm not talking about that tuna. I'm talking about the tuna fruit. Oh, well, can I try it? Wait, you're supposed to take off the outer layer first. Now you can eat it. This tastes good. It's one of my favorites. So this grows from that? Yup. Huh, who would have known? Oh, mijos, aquí está para ayudarme a pelar los nopales? Uh, actually, Chris was just saying how fun it looks, so he'll be the one helping you out. I gotta go water my dog. Water my dog? What does that even mean? What is up guys? Hope you enjoyed that video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big like because it helps us a lot. And let us know in the comments down below if your family eats nopales. And if you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you click that subscribe button because we're so close to a million subs. So make sure you guys hit that sub button if you aren't already. And uh, with all that being said, click right here to check out last week's video. Click right here if you aren't subscribed yet. And with all that being said, we'll see you guys next time. Hey, if you guys are still watching right now, comment down below. Nopal.